play scary games? Hey, good news for you, man. We're gonna. So, if you missed the last time we... Actually, I'm gonna play modded this time, too. Where are my mods at? I'm gonna turn... I'm gonna do light mods here. I would definitely like to have... Book collection. I would definitely like to have... Clean dirt. I would definitely like to have... Containers? No. Fanny pack? No. Fashion montage? No. Um, I would definitely like to have used cars and lore friendly. I would definitely like to be able to turn my fridge off. Fuel side indicator for sure. Extra skill books. No food expiration for sure. And then pillows random spawns. Rain Queen's blood is nice. I think that might be it. I think that might be it. We'll see if anything breaks. Not for you. You hate scary? You might want to head out. It's not that scary. I'm kidding. Give me custom sandbox. Give me random spawn anywhere. We are going to start six months later. So water is going to be off. Food is going to be off. Or the water is going to be off. Electricity is going to be off. And it's going to be the middle of winter when we start. Zombie count is going to be insane. We are going to be playing on, like, max pop zombies. But we are also going to be turning off respawn. Which is in here somewhere. Take my word for it, I, I play on this preset a lot. There's going to be no respawns. So once a zombie's dead, it's never coming back. The other thing that we're going to change is that infection mortality is instant. So if we get infected, we die immediately. There's no mystery to it, and it's mostly just because it's not fun to wait for like two days to see if you're actually infected. The other preset we're going to use is the grindy preset that I've built. We're going to start obese, unfit, weak, and slow healing. We are going to be a sad state of a person. But we can modify all these traits over the course of the game mode. We can work out, we can get more fit, we can eat better so that we can actually undo a lot of these, and then in exchange, we pick up a bunch of nice perks that later on are going to be free. I'm not going to touch any of this. My name is Aidan Dion. That's just who we're going to start with. Character creation, not really for me. We can change our haircut and stuff later. And then I also need to remember where camera goes for Zomboid. So we could get really unlucky with this start and be in like downtown Louisville on Insane Pop six months later and just have a hell of a time. We could be in the middle of the woods and have no idea where we are. We'll see what happens. It's part of the mystery of starting with random spawn. How many people am I commanding in Project Zomboid? That's the fun part. It's literally just me. Eventually, they plan on adding NPCs to Project Zomboid. I am not that excited about it. This is Louisville. <laughs> I am not that excited about it. Because it's actually like... I'm kidding when I say that Project Zomboid is a horror game. It kind of is. What it actually is is like a loneliness simulator. It's one of the most like crushingly, devastatingly lonely games that you will ever play. And I love that about it. You are the last survivor of a zombie apocalypse. There's absolutely nobody else around, and eventually you will die. The question is just how long you can make it before you die. It is a story with no happy ending. And that's neat. I like that. Uh, a screwdriver might have to be a temporary weapon here. I don't love it, but it might have to be. Now, as far as where are we, I think I know, but I'm not positive. If we are where I think we are... Okay, first of all, we have a fireplace, which is insane. Is there a fence back here? No, but there's zombies back here. There's a lot back here. Well, let's get started now. Oh, also, I need to turn all this console stuff off. Hang on. Um, 
We're gonna have to do that in a moment. Alright, we're starting spiced. But it's okay. Because they're not coming back. I'd like some of you to come visit, please. I actually don't. I mean, I know we're in Louisville. I don't know where we are in Louisville. I have never been here before. The good thing is... We have at least four houses to do. We also have a bag. And I think... We're in a part of Louisville... That is relatively low pop. So we're not immediately going to need to migrate. But we are gonna have to borrow some clothes off of these guys. Alright, last two please. Don't sneak. Just tell them you're here. There you go. Okay, be a little more careful. You were expecting the panda go. That's fine. Honestly, just use your feet. And then go get that police officer. He has more friends. I still think this is fine. Starting to get a little spicy. I need you to have a nightstick. Okay. Maybe you do. Okay, we're already exerted because we are a fat piece of shit that has never worked out in their life. You do have a watch. I'll be wearing that. Alright, we need to clear exertion. So we are we are useless at everything right now. We are a bad character. We need to be very, very careful. For like the first month. And then we can start to thrive. Show me sheets. No? No? Actually... Mm. Just one. That's not the worst thing. Boxers, pants, magazine, newspaper, paint, paint, painkillers? That's good to know. Empty? That's bad. I was really hoping I'd find, like, a decent weapon in here. Maybe. Mmm, sheets are good. We take sheets. We take a pipe wrench. There's a van across the street. Okay. Here's one line of sight dealt with. Close these. I need to update stream title. Hang on. I'm lying about playing Guild Wars right now. We can't have that. Twitch. Twitch. Lying is bad. Analytics. Stream, no, not stream summary, stream manager. Edit stream info. Project Zomboid. 
stream title, zomboid, we died last time, why not make the difficulty harder? Have a good night later, Surf. Thanks again for fights. It was a good time. I'll catch you around Tuesday, Wednesday if you guys are uh, if you guys are running. We will be substantially smaller than we were with Indo. Message you guys of our leaders for next week. Let me know if there's anything I can do to facilitate that. I will probably sit out, but uh, I'm happy to help coordinate stuff. There are some number of people that I know. So I can contribute to that if it would be useful. I saw something move. Might have just been a tree in the wind. Honestly, what would go crazy right now is a map of Louisville so I can figure out where the hell I am. These can be closed. And then this can get a curtain. He's getting closer. I'm going to have to go deal with that. In fact, I think he might have seen me. These can be closed. Flux 8 to 10. I will see Flux for one hour then. Dusk is going to be a little early. How bad's that? Only two? That's manageable. We'll do the back. And then we're going to hit the garage. Because there was a rake in there and there was a shovel. We're going to have to use that for the time being. Uh, attached back. Alright. Not my favorite two-handed weapon to use. But it's serviceable. Let's have you go first. God, I'm slow. <laughs> like, Alright, deal with you. Deal with you. Deal with you. For sure. This is not bad for Louisville. Yet. It's gonna get bad. But like... Well, actually, maybe that's pretty bad. Because they're gonna migrate. I don't know where you came from. I think between these two houses, and I'm assuming there's going to be one more house there, we should be able to put up enough weapons and food to make a push to something that offers some longer term prospects. But I don't yet know what it is. I can get you two, and then I'm going to have to go in and sit for a bit. There's another one. We're fine on our side. Okay, fine. You're getting blunt force. If you want to fall over, I'll make you fall over. And that's why we push. Is there a fourth house there? There is. Okay. Let's sweep around this side. That's a survivor house. That's a survivor house.
we might not have to go that far at all. Backyard's fine. Come inside, take a sip. Close these curtains. Our immediate area is not safe, but it's good enough. Sit. Rest. Find something to eat. We have some food. It's not going to get us far, but we have some. Check your perimeter. That's what I thought. There's going to be zombie pressure coming out of these woods for a while. Just fall over. I don't trust that tree right now. That tree's fine. It was just wind. Right? Yeah. You can also go. I don't trust those trees. There's a zombie in there. What's up, chess piece? Good. You can go. Let's make a push to a second house. You and Zach were talking about playing this against once you're bored of BG3? Let me know. I'm in, man. I've been watching... I've been watching Sips play it. You're not going to. I've been watching Sips play it, and it's made me want to, like, play it better. Oh, Jesus. Never mind. We're fine out here. Also, how are you doing, Mark? It's been a while. Hope you guys are doing well. This isn't gonna work. This? This will work. Goodbye. Goodbye. Do you have a nightstick for me? There's an extraction mod? That sounds sick. I would love to play that. <laughs> it sounds really cool. Close the door. It's just a vector to get attacked. No one here. No one here. Please just get close enough to open the door. There we go. And then just don't, like, fight here like an idiot. Right here, like an idiot. Okay, I hear something at a window. How bad is it out here? Not that bad? Really not that bad. Okay. Really, really not that bad. They're all going to be upstairs. Unless they're in here. Nothing? Okay. I didn't check this side of the house. I should check that side of the No, I checked that side of the house. When I came up. Hello. Goodbye. Clear. Clear. 
clear. Clear. Heading to bed. Sounds good. I will catch you guys around hopefully soon. I am down to do that extraction about any time you want. Clear. We need to check that shelf later. Hmm. Good. Good. Okay. Plus one house. It's not safe. Because this is broken, this is broken, this is broken, this is gone. This is broken. But it's safe adjacent. Let's see what we got. Hand torch? You never know when it'll come in handy. A toaster? Not now. Paint? Not now. Hammer? Wrench? Empty gas can? Charged battery. Very important. Six months later pay playthrough, every vehicle battery we find is going to be dead. That is going to allow us to get a car up and running. Bathroom has nothing. Kitchen. Milk and a pineapple. Vegetables and an uncle pork chop. Dead mouse. We still haven't found a can opener. Good quality frying pan. Good quality kitchen knife. Graham crackers. I'll eat graham crackers. Juice. Cup. Fruit jam. Maple syrup. Mac and cheese. Good food. That's two or three days of food in there. Bookshelf. The key for the van? You gotta go check. We are not going to start this van. It's going to be loud as hell. No gas. What kind of shape is the battery in? What kind of shape is the, the van in, in general? It's actually like a great condition van. We need to find gas, and then we have a car. That's it. An insanely lucky start for six months later. It can take... I, I've played games of six months later where it's taken me like a month to find my first functional car. A pistol? Not for a while, I'd imagine. I mean, I would say first acquisition for the used car lot, but honestly, it's like basically new. We're going to the new car lot with that one. Electric wire, electric guitars, that's gonna be like poor tier weaponry. A ported disc, headphones, sewing kit. Good to know that we have an access to a needle. Somebody's at the window. Go now before it breaks. <laughs> Never mind. Where are you? What window was it? It was the bathroom window. Seventeen thirty. I don't think I have time to do another house tonight. But I think I can make it to the end of the street. Was there a map to Louisville in that van, by the way? I forgot to check. I'll go back and check before I go to bed. Hey, you. Come here. This is insanely greedy. You don't know what's in any of those trees. This is still pretty greedy. Oh, 
follower. Thank you. And then you get off that door. Is this a survivor house? There should be boards on other parts of the building if it is. Otherwise, it's just one randomly boarded up window. Which I'm not saying it can't be, but I've never seen that before. Plus one. Plus two. I hear a lot of noise coming from this house. Oh, hello. Oh, okay, goodbye. That's bad. I really don't like a lot that's going on right now. You need to die. That's fine. You didn't want to? That's fine. I really needed that strike to kill you. But it's okay. I'm comfortable with three at a time. And I would happily take two. We should be good to just walk backwards. You. In a different world, you could have been the end of me. But now I will be the end of you. These need to go. The thing that I don't know about where I am... There's three back there. The thing that I don't know about where I am is I don't know how, back, how far back that forest goes. So, we're not playing on respawn. Zombies are never going to come back once we kill them. But they do migrate. There's this thing in Project Zomboid called Zombie Pressure. In every cell that's in the game, there's a specific number of zombies that the game wants to be in that cell. And if there are a bunch of zombies in a surrounding cell, and not many zombies in a current cell, they will push into the empty cell. Did not see you at all. So if we empty this cell, all the zombies from the surrounding cell are going to wander into it. And if there's only a few zombies in the surrounding cell, that's fine. Eventually you will kill all of them. And you won't have to worry about it anymore. If we are like three tiles from a mall, we're going to be in a pretty tight spot for a long time. Also, it's starting to get dark. I need, So what I need to do right now, I need to kill you. I need to do one more lap around the house. And I need to get ready to go to bed. Sure, I'll kill you as well. Just fall over, please. I'd like to go home. Fine. I'll do it your way. Make sure the house is secure. I mean, you could just kill every single zombie. I have never... I watch people play Project Zomboid. I have never seen anyone embark on a kill every zombie challenge. I've seen a couple people try it. I've never seen anyone get close to finishing it. The zombie population on Insane is legitimately insane. But for tonight, we'll be fine. We have a very stable environment here. I need to remember to grab the backpack off that guy I killed as well. I would like to work out. I would also like to turn a bunch of debug stuff off. Do not give me build cheat. Do not give me health cheat. We need to work out every single day. 
in order to build our fitness. We will do 60 minutes of squats and then we will go to sleep. The first couple nights are going to be spicy. What do you mean, is it knowable? Can you know how many zombies there are? Is there a way to know you've won? Uh, technically. I will cheat very briefly. If I remember where this is. It's not general debuggers. It's not cheats either. Is it dev? Dev zombie pop. This should be it. So there is an option in the dev menu to show you... You know what? This is actually a little too much spoilers. <laughs> Let me make it smaller. There is a dev window that shows you every single yellow dot where every single yellow dot is a zombie. And then also it shows you this number here for every cell. The first number is how many zombies are currently in that cell. The second number is how many zombies the game wants to be in that cell. So that's the thing it uses for zombie pressure. Right now in our cell, there are 698 zombies. We will know when this cell is clear. And if we were to go through the entire game and kill every single zombie and verify every single square on that debugger, we would know that we've won. Nobody's done that. And the small bit of information I did glean from doing that is that there are a lot of zombies in that forest. Like, a problematic amount of zombies. That sounds like a cool, if grueling challenge. The biggest issue is that it would be impressively unwatchable. Zomboid is interesting because of the tension. And if you're just farming an entire map, like there's very efficient ways to kill zombies. This is really bad. Because I don't know where the window is. And I don't know how many are there. It's just one. Take it. Go fast. I forgot to mention, by the way, one of the custom settings for this uh, sandbox is Darker Nights. So the fact that you can't see shit is intentional. I'm going to do like 30 minutes of push-ups. again. I said rest, sit, rest. Oh, you just don't want to rest there? I understand. Fine, go there to rest. Should be light enough to actually do things outside now. Darkness as a mechanic is fun in single-player games. I There's a lot of times where it's functionally useless in streaming. Zomboid handles darkness really well as something that actually impairs your ability to play rather than just being like a graphical effect, which is like on-brand. But it does not make watching any, interest, any more interesting. Give me a perimeter sweep. I want 
you and you gone for sure. And you. You have a duffel bag. Forget what I said about that other guy? I will be taking your item. That shovel did not last as long as I needed it to. So what's my next item? Also, thanks for the sunflower seeds and chips. I think it's probably going to have to be a rake. I don't want to eat the chips. There are too many calories for me right now. I need to lose weight, not gain it. Give me a rake. This is also going to break relatively quickly, but... When it does, we can just go back to the armory. The shitty armory, such as it is. So I don't necessarily want to sweep you today. I want to press on to a couple more houses to get better weapon availability. Your yard looks clear. I'm going to take care of you. Honestly, when you can get away with it, just stop. Not really what I wanted to do. Your yard also looks clear. Let's do one lap of this house, and then we'll get inside. Wow, it swings fast. <laughs> okay, maybe we can make something work with this. Damage does not appear that good, though. Already fatigued, that's also not great. Behind us is fine. It's fatigue, man. Alright, one at the door. Two in the backyard. That house is loud, though. Three. You came out of a window. Okay, that's bad. I need the pipe wrench. Really do not like using the weapon this short. That helps a lot. the rake. Rake is dead. I shouldn't do this, but I'm going to. One. You I can take. There's one more in the backyard. Be fast. Let 
Whatever you do, just do it quickly. You have a hunting knife in you. It's serviceable. We can get it later, though. Just him. This is a terrible idea. Don't do this. No more about the house first. I'm more confident doing this now. There's at least one person in the garage. That's exactly why I didn't want to go through this window. Because now my back is away from a section of the house I know nothing about, it's fine. Not bad. I know how it looks. That's pretty bad. I was hoping to spend more time interested in that door. And there's still somebody up here. You're in here. Please come out a bit. Thank you. Empty charge, Arlen. It's fine. Now we listen. We don't hear anyone. Don't sleep, don't sleep, don't sleep, don't sleep. Jesus Christ. <laughs> Sit. Sit. Rest. Listen. We hear nothing. Good. Doesn't mean house is empty. But it does mean it's probably empty. Chef wall painting business is booming. It's a good thing that I found all of that paint in the other house. A second pipe wrench. Foundation makeup toothbrush. More headphones. Knitting needles. That doesn't do anything for us. Bunch of shirts, bunch of underwear. Doesn't do anything for us. Painkillers? Actually important. 
We should also eat. I have some mac and cheese. Raw. for volume ones of anything. I didn't check garage. Volume ones of anything go crazy. And empty. Do honestly take the painkillers now. We're in minor pain. Medicated. And then, same thing again. One lap around the house, check the backyard. Somebody at back door. One player at back door. Use your shitty wrench for this, just to break it faster. Backyard clear. Survivor backpack. <laughs> if I die early in this round, I'm gonna be upset. This is a survivor house. Aggro zombie. Jesus. Jesus. No, commit to it. You're fine. You're okay, they're not aggro they're aggroed on you now. Time to go. That's bad. <laughs> Good. Push him. Good. Good. Duffel bag, thank you for your service. We'll be using large backpack now. Uh, equip primary. Chips, move it over. Duffel bag, move it over. Encumbered, I see you moving, you're de aggroed. Copy there. You have a hunting knife. Great news. It's not that door, it's this door. Holy. You're on the outside, too. Spear, metal bar, garden hoe. A significant number of broken doors up here. I'm going to assume that means they all made it downstairs. But assumptions. Or how you get killed. So check the empty rooms first. A 
think we're good. We're good. Hammer, garden fork, hammer, hand axe, hunting knife. This is the armory we were looking for. Civilian bulletproof vest. I've never seen one of those before. Machete. Oh. <laughs> We're good. Food. Second machete. That one's almost broken, to be fair. Crowbar. Suture needle. This was a great house. You don't need to tell me. This entire start has been insane. In four houses, we have gotten a 100% car battery. We've gotten the key for that car. We've gotten two machetes. We've gotten a survivor house. We've gotten a survival backpack. We've gotten enough food to get us like through a week and a half, probably. We have gotten a, like functionally everything we need for the entire early game. <laughs> I mean... Do I need to say anything? It's one of the best starts I think I've probably ever had in a Zomboid game, which is going to make it really painful when I die on like day 12. Because I overcommit to something that I don't need to. I'm not even done looting that house. I just have to go decompress for a minute. I'm overweight. I'm tired. Let's not do anything stupid. Let's go back to the main house. Let's do our perimeter sweep. And let's think about what our next steps are. Because early game is basically over. It is... One day, five hours, and we are out of the early game. Hello. Yeah, that's not going to work for me. Plus on maintenance, you love to see it. I swear I hear a second set of footsteps. But I'm just hoping I'm wrong. If there are more than two zombies in the backyard, I think I'm actually in a lot of trouble, so we're gonna go in through the front door. What can I drop? Don't need either of you. Books should go upstairs so that I can read them when I'm burning time after working out. Oh, we already had painkillers up here. You know what? I don't need the stuff bag either. You could go in here. I'm now comfortable checking backyard. I'm also comfortable checking this pocket. Still no clue where I am. Like, I'm in Louisville, but I'm in a part of Louisville I've never seen before. And I don't even know how to begin getting to the part of Louisville that I'm familiar with. Which is actually only like a small part of Louisville. Plus one strength. We love this! I don't know about all that. How are my shoes doing? We have been doing a lot of stomping. They're still fine.
So it's 1530. You know what I actually haven't found yet is a can opener. That's fine. I have a bag of chips to eat tonight. We'll find a can opener. I didn't check the kitchen in that last house, actually. There could still be a can opener there. Sit on ground. No, work out first. Burn all of your stamina off. Put your backpack down. Work out. Just for 30 minutes, because you're already low on stam. Then, sit. Read. And wait. We'll go to bed at, like, 2200. I'm surprised it's raining on a uh, six months later start. There we go. That's what I thought. Okay. Actually just straight up finished it. Give me the bag of chips. Sleep. We need to find actual winter clothes tomorrow as well. Like, cold is getting a little sketchy. We'll be fine for tonight, because we're indoors. But we can't wait forever. We're right on the borderline. In fact, did we have any winter clothes in here that I just ignored? Boxer's hearts won't do it. Pants strapless bra won't do it. Nothing in here is going to do it. Shell suit. I'd rather not. None of those, for sure. Mm, you're not. V-neck sweater vest isn't actually, like, not that good insulation-wise. This house isn't going to cut it. We'll do another lap through the previous houses, just to make sure I haven't missed any warm winter clothing somewhere. And if we can't find any, we'll get it from a zombie corpse. But no matter what, it's going to have holes in it. You. You need to go. Oh, uh, we're fresh this morning. Wow, all you need to go with that. You, you. This is zombie pressure. Another hunting knife. You need to go. You need to go. The temptation to shout is very high. This is multiplayer? This can have multiplayer. Zomboid multiplayer is a very good time. Because there is PvE multiplayer Zomboid where you turn PvP off and it's like you and your friends surviving, but then there's also public Zomboid servers that have PvP enabled. So you have to put some thought into where your base goes, not only to protect yourself from zombies, but also to protect yourself from other players. Oh my god, they're everywhere out here. I mean, not... Oh, Jesus. You need to die. That hit has to do it. Thank you. They are migrating. Anyone else? For now, I'm going to say no. But those woods are still not great. You have to go, though. And you. 
This is actually like, holy cow. Look at all this shit back here. It's usually not good Zomboid practice to like set up where you start. You usually want to go somewhere lower pop. But I think, despite how bad this looks, I think the zombie density out here is low enough. And even though we've only looted four houses, the loot proportion is high enough that we could consider basing out here. The only thing that's going to change that calculus is what we're near. If we don't have like a grocery store in driving distance, we might need to think about food long term. If we don't have a hardware store in driving distance, we might have to think about uh, weapon availability long term. Having anonymity with faces covered. Hang on. Having anonymity with faces covered and a remove of the gun stun lock will do a lot. I don't know anything about Zomboid BB. So when they write that up in their Thursdoid, I'm usually tuning it out. But it's good to know that they're improving it. Please, nothing here. Bad. Bad and not good. Bad. I'm gonna have to burn stamina sprinting. I'm gonna have to make noise sprinting. I think they'll be strung out enough, but I need these first couple pushes to connect. Okay, we're fine. Every dead zombie is a zombie that is not coming back. Scene. Hurt scene. 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 Scene times two? <laughs> Alright, that door's close to breaking, too. I can hear it splintering. I'll take that first. Yeah, you can hear it about to give out. Thank you for not noticing these on me. Where did you come from? This house is porous. I'm not going in that way. I'm going in front door. Can your weapons break in this game? They can, and I've already broken three or four. I had a frying pan. That broke. I had a pickaxe. That, or I had a... Uh, pipe wrench, that broke. I had a rake, that broke. I had a shovel, that broke. I'm now on pipe wrench number two. They have different durabilities. Like, a pipe wrench is usually pretty trustworthy. We're only halfway through this one, and it's probably killed like 30 zombies at this point, but every weapon breaks. So you are on a constant journey of replacement. And it's one of your major pressures for forcing you to go out and loot instead of just stay in the same place and bunker up. So all this first, I would say, week is probably going to be. Not of stream time, of like in-game time. Our first week of in-game time... A spear? You shouldn't have. Um is just going to be perimeter security and pushing against zombie pressure. Once we don't have to worry about zombie pressure as much, we can start to think about branching out a bit more. 
but at least initially, we're just going to be beating back these initial waves of zombies that are trying to migrate in. And it's probably once we've accomplished that. I did see the one back there. I just want to know if he's following me. It looks like he is. Two of them are. As soon as we've accomplished that, we can think about getting more aggressive with the survival. But until we've accomplished that, because we're playing on no respawn, I just want to establish a place that we know will be mostly safe. Did I eat the chips? I ate the chips. Alright, we need to rest, we need to eat. I'm hoping this house is mostly okay. I don't think I checked the kitchen. Bowl of cereal, sure. This also gets us a free bowl. Also, I didn't check this place for winter clothes either. Let's do that quick. I want something just a little warmer to wear. I don't think baggy jeans are going to cut it. What do I have on now? Jeans. They're about the same. None of those are going to do it. What were you knitting? Diamond pattern sweater vest? It's... Like, surprisingly, it doesn't do anything. A denim shirt is actually better. Nothing gonna be in there. Pillow, tank top? No. Black underpants, standard bra? No. Newspaper? No. Alright, I'll check the survivor house then. Mm. We'll rest first and then we'll check survivor house. Sit on ground. Rest. Sure, walk wherever you want to do it. I don't care. It's 2.30. You have the key to the house? Unnecessary. perimeter first. You never know. Looks good. Looks good. Let's see what we got in here. We do, we do have a grill here as well, which will be nice. Chickpeas, pasta, rice, that all needs to be cooked. Corned beef, I could open without a can opener. A shitload of guns. It's not the time. <laughs> this is a good survivor house. Jesus, you have even more shit in here? This is a really good survivor house. Who would have thought that after four houses, the thing that we need the most would actually be a can opener? Crowbar. 
are. You know, I don't have a back item right now. And it's halfway to breaking already. Just take it. And then stick a hand torch in your backpack, stick adhesive bandages in your backpack, and you're good on weight. Fat-ass character can barely hold anything. Tailoring one. We should take that with us. It's just something to read. T-shirt. That's not going to do it. Nightstick. We'll come back for you. Trapping two. Sledgehammer. We'll come back for you as well. I simply don't have to wait for that right now. There's a garden fork in there too. I didn't see that the first time I was in here. How good at insulation is a civilian bulletproof vest? Not. Then I'm sure it's going to be better. I cannot believe there's not a can opener. Okay, so we have two problems that we need to solve now that we've finished our first four houses. Problem one, we have no idea where a can opener is. And our food is getting mildly problematic. Problem two, I have no winter clothes. I can scavenge them from a zombie, but they're going to have holes in them. And that's not ideal. So to me, my solution, there's really nothing. So here's what I know. Fuck. Where did you come from? The good news is we're okay. If we were dead, we'd be zombified. Left upper arm laceration. It's fine, we have bandages. Um, the good news is we're not zombified. The bad news is I have no idea where that zombie came from. Yeah, I'm playing on instant zombification. The first time we played, we played on, like, real Project Zomboid. But this time, I'm like, if I die, just end me so I can go again. <laughs> can you imagine if that actually would have killed us? Okay. Oh. Okay, we don't have to go as far as I thought for more houses. I'm not going through those woods, though. It seems like a recipe for disaster. I also just really wouldn't mind the brief calm down. From our near miss. It's 1640. I'm going to have enough time to get down this road, unless there's significant resistance. I'm going to have enough time to get down this road and see what kind of neighborhood we're dealing with over there. I'm not going to have time to get into any houses. Bandage is still fine. Mental, no. If you check your map, make sure you're inside. I guess there's a third thing we need, which is a car, which is gas. We have a car. But the car has no gas. So if we can find a car and get just a little bit of fuel, we will be loving life. A 
Also, as long as we're counting our blessings, it was not a laceration on the swinging arm. It was a laceration on the non-swinging arm. My pipe wrench? Basically, we have a lot to be thankful for. Is what I'm trying to say. Fall over. Thank you. Bad. There's the turn in. Okay. Thought I heard something. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. But not fatigued yet. Nine, ten, eleven, twelve. And they're coming out of the woods to the left and right of me. That's where all these guys in the tail are coming from. Like, did you see that guy there? They're all just siphoning out to the left and right. Okay, this is starting to get pretty bad. <laughs> Let's get a crowbar out. There's something with a little bit more range. We're fine to turn around for quite a while. But this is going to be the fight that makes us go home, because we're not fatigued yet, we're going to be by the end of it. Come on, anytime any of you want to die. It's gone on so long I have to check behind me again. We're still fine. Okay, I hate that arrangement. I just, I heard the meta event. Somebody shot a gun somewhere. We're definitely going home after this. There's fatigue. Capitalize. I'll t one, I'll take one. Two, three. You fucker. Yes. This is meta noise, that's why they're all moving. I need to be looking this way. Okay, what do we need to do, given that we know where the meta noise is pulling them? We need sightlines. And the sightline is going to be here. We don't have to worry about anything coming from the north, because anything to the north is going to be moving further north. This is less than ideal. You need to fall over in like the next push. Thank you. I'd say this is extremely less than ideal right now. Thank you. Read for it.
I think we're fine. I cannot believe our stamina held up for that. I, I have to. I have to get rid of you. You're a threat. And now we have to get home. I, I can't even perimeter sweep tonight. I don't have the stamina. I'm in too much pain. Take... Both front windows are broken. There's somebody at the garage door. This house actually is not safe. Unless it's just you that broke everything. It's not. There's somebody at the front door, too. Just go for it. You can you can take him too. Anything else? One more. You probably have time. Is it? There it is. Okay. This is bad. This is really bad. I actually think I do have to stay here. Kitchen's fine. Forget the downstairs. Honestly, forget the downstairs. This is just to hear things. I'm going to assume there's nobody in here. I don't hear anything. I think we're okay. Read until daylight. And then what do we do today? It's very simple. We do not work out. We cannot afford to work out. Because we need to get into those houses to the west and find a can opener. I could open canned sardines as well, I'm pretty sure. Yeah. There shouldn't be anything back here. Metanoi should have pulled them all north. But it is really cold out today. I think I actually have to scavenge something from a zombie just to keep warmth up. sweater is not quite as good as the denim shirt I've got now. Although I think I can wear it over it. Bloody worn is not going to cut it. 
No, no, it's gonna cut it. No, no, this is gonna cut it, man. Insulation. It's full condition, actually. Can I wear this over my denim shirt? It goes over the denim shirt. Alright. That's our warmth taken care of. I can't believe we actually found one that doesn't have holes. Shoes are still hanging in there. Forget the houses for now. Can openers. Okay, f if you're gonna hit the door. If I'm gonna see you hitting the door. Fine. That tree is a zombie. It's not. It's wind. It's wind. I should not be fighting here. That's exactly why. Take me somewhere with better visibility. I know I can back up this way for a little bit. That's all I'm going to do. Okay, thought I was standing on you? Guess not. And this here. You have a hunting knife in your leg. Do not a machete, do not get fooled. You're fine behind. Get off that door. I might need that door. The pain is not doing me any favors. That said, if it was on my swinging arm, I wouldn't be able to do anything today. So I guess we appreciate that. You have returned to Senna. You missed everything. I'm not even being facetious. That's bad. But I'll go for it. Uh, I'm playing on instant infection. So it can't have been that bad. What the hell was that noise? I'm playing on instant infection, so it can't have been that bad. If it was that bad, we would be a different character. Um, I found like two machetes, I found a sledgehammer, I found a ton of food that I can't open with a can opener, and then I decided to check my map in a backyard instead of behind a closed door, and my arm got lacerated. Which is fine. We're not zombified. But it's annoying. Because if I'm making stupid mistakes that early, it's probably not going to be a long game. Can I explain what's going on? I am a survivor in a zombie apocalypse. My goal is to live as long as possible. There is no win condition. I will never get a congratulations you beat the game screen. Eventually, I will die. And when I die, it will be a result of a poor choice that I made. Whether it's tried to fight too many zombies at once, didn't save up enough food, got into a vehicle crash, spent too long in the cold. Any number of things can kill me, and eventually will kill me. And the fun of Project Zomboid is what you accomplish until that happens. So what we're doing now 
is we are looking for some houses to break into because we found a bunch of food, but it's all canned, and we don't have a can opener. So we have no way to access it. That is our current challenge. We knew that crowbar was not going to last. <laughs> okay, now you're just shitting me. We knew that crossbar was that cross that crowbar wasn't going to last that long. We didn't know that pipe wrench wasn't going to last that long. So you're out of here. You're out of here. And before we go any further, we're going to have to go back to the armory. Yep, when you die, it's game over. You can do one interesting thing in Project Zomboid, which is when you start a new character, you can re-roll a new character in the same game world. So you can actually find your old character zombified, you can find your old character's base, and you can continue playing from where they left off. But when you die, that is the end of your character story. It's basically a narrative simulator. You're telling the story of how one person died in a zombie apocalypse at the end of the world. There's no hope, there's no help coming, there's nobody else left alive. It is you against zombies as well as the elements until you succumb to them. Yeah, very much like NetHack. Like, it, it's hard to talk about a game being, like, emblematic of being a roguelite because of how old roguelites are. Like, Project Zomboid doesn't exist in the same conversation as something like Dwarf Fortress or something like Rogue, but it is through and through a roguelite game. You have zero character progression, everything is lethal all the time, you are constantly suffering from the results of your decisions, and eventually you die. And it does have multiplayer. It has both uh, like co-op multiplayer, where you can invite other people to join your server, and you can work together to survive the zombie apocalypse. It also has PvP multiplayer, where you can play on a server with total strangers and defend your base from them because they're trying to take your stuff. I came in here for weapons. That's not weapons. Weapon me. Crafted spear? Sure. A crafted spear is not going to last long, so let's grab a backup. Neither of those are one-handed. The game also has a, uh, a pretty extensive modding scene. So we're running with a couple mods in this playthrough. None of them are like dramatically game-changing. I should rest. None of them are dramatically game-changing, but I am running a couple mods here for either quality of life or slight changes to the way the game works. There's a massive workshop. If you're interested in that kind of thing, there are no doors up here that close. That's a concern. Check this out. Give me this chair. Take it to a room with a door. Here. Place. Chair. Rotate. Sit. Rest. Good to go. Hello. There we go. This spear has really got to last. Because the other two weapons that I have right now, I do not particularly like. But if we use them up and break them first, then we can use things like machetes and crowbars. 
which are good and I like. Hello, times two. We're fine on our back. Good. Good. What's up, Badinsky? How you doing? I am still on. And I don't even have to stay up later because uh, you're hitting me with a raid. I was going to play for like another half hour or so. It's going well. We are. We did Indo's podcast, which was nice. We won a couple fights against RAR. Content was really good. They decided to be done, and then I was like, you know what? I canceled my 10 a.m. meeting tomorrow. I'm going to go play Zomboid until I'm too tired to keep streaming. And now I'm playing Zomboid until I'm too tired to keep streaming. It was good. I think I did a better job of finding my voice in this one and not just like letting Bully and uh, Indo like talk over me because they're louder, more assertive people by trade. So it was nice. I had a good time. This seems bad. Nah, actually it's fine. Actually I'm not concerned at all. Holy cow, nice insta-kill. It's a fun listen. I have hopes that this one will be better as well. I think the chat engagement was better. I think the quality of questions were better. I think it was more interesting to watch because we were passing the commander tag around. What I'm going to do tonight after I'm done streaming, but before I go to bed, is I am going to expedite the VOD upload on my end. I hear a second set of footsteps. It might have been my own, now that I think about it. I'm going to expedite the VOD so that I can stick it up earlier and uh, direct people to it. I like the way that those episodes are driving discussion about stuff in the community. So the sooner I can get them out, the better. I really do not like how much tree cover there is around here. Every single one of these trees is a potential enemy. You ever played Zomboid, by the way, Podinsky? I think you'd like it. It's a great game. We're fine here. I'm very much greeting for the one-hit KO on the spear. Because the durability is limited. It's definitely one I would wait until you have time for. The, the learning curve is a little steep. It'll benefit you to set aside like a couple hours. That's a zombie. Uh, a couple hours across, like, there goes the spear. A couple hours across, like, a couple days to really get a sense for it. Okay, you can keep this. I will not be repairing it. I also remember that I have this. And I do think I would like to keep using a spear for a little longer. There's at least three houses here. That's good. This arrangement of zombies is bad. I can't get the insta-kill if they are grouped up too closely. So let's navigate this turn. Make sure we're clear on the back. We are. And now we know that we can backpedal as far as we want to. That was the axe gone. Are you kidding me? We are burning through weapons way faster than I would like to. 
Like, way, way faster than I would like to. How bad is this axe fucked up already? It's basically full. So I can maybe kill 15 zombies with it at this rate. Based on how fast all my other shit is breaking. Although I can spear here, which is nice. Good. It is a mess in here. That's okay. Just settle in. Find your rhythm. You got a lot of other weapons to fall back on. getting a little tired, but that's okay. We're not using a weapon that cares about stamina. And if we can push closer to where we've cleared previously, we should have less problems to deal with. There it is. Thought I saw something. Just securing my edges. I'm content with this. Not happy with it, but I'm content with it. This house is fucked up. Honestly, make a little noise. Break some glass, see who shows up. So far, so good. I hear one door. I st oh, God. <laughs> you gonna go pass out and have a good one? I will catch you later. need to be hitting the one hits here. You're getting tired and fatigued. Come on. Okay, never mind. We're gonna have to give up on this for the day. Which is a bit of an issue, because I don't know where my food is going to come from. But there's too much stuff in that house for me to try and deal with. Well, I'm exerted and drowsy. We have nothing in reserve. I'm gonna have to hope that I miss something in these first four houses. Hello. coming. Every one of you that I kill, there's one more that I don't have to worry about again. This is pain. It's just, it's burning weapon durability as well. Like, it's not even that it's taking a long time. I'm eating into my weapon supplies with every extra hit that I have to deliver. 
even with that house. Like, if we hadn't found that survivor house, we'd actually be in a really rough spot right now. We're still in sort of a rough spot, but it's a manageable rough spot. I don't even know where they're coming from at this point. Beyond, like, the woods. Like, obviously, I know they're coming from the woods. And then, like, honestly, truly... Give me the knife. Might need it. You have a cleaver. That's a serviceable weapon. Oh, thank you. I'm not excited to see it, but in these desperate times, I'm going to take it. Where'd the last one go? My character saw him, but I didn't. There he is. <laughs> I saw the panic moodle pop up, and I was like, I don't even know where it is. Thank God you saw it. Okay. Recklessness gets people killed, so sweep the house first. Even though you're in no state to fight. Sweep the outside first. Because if there is something outside, it's going to be easier to kill it outside than inside. I hate this line of trees. goes without saying that I hate the zombie population here, but that line of trees in particular is freaking me That said, I think we're good. It's just wind. It's just wind. That should probably be closed. Come on. Anything to eat that I missed. Mac and cheese, I did miss something. I saw there's chocolate in there too, but it's got a longer term benefit, so I don't want to use that unless it's like life or death. Fill your water. Okay. We have at least another day in us, if not a few more. Uh, reloading for idiots I haven't read yet. I don't know when I'd be using it, but I haven't read it yet, so let's grab it. Because we still have to clear our actual house. I mean, we could just sleep in there if we needed to. But I'd rather go to the actual lair. So check the woods. Woods appear clear. It's... Okay, never mind. I was going to say... 
that it's possible that we've started making inroads against zombie pressure. That does not appear to be true. And remember, there's two windows broken in the kitchen, which means technically people could be in here. We really ought to try and find some nails and fix that. Looks like we're good for now, though. So we've got two days before things start to get really bad. Because tomorrow we can eat the chocolate if we need to. That'll be fine. The day after that, we can push into starvation if we need to. It's the day after that that things get really ropey. Weapon-wise, we're fine. Like, we're actually fine. There's like a half-broken machete, and then there's like a full durability machete. There's a pipe in there. There's a spear in there. There's like a couple other metal rods will be fine. There's a spike baseball bat. There's plenty of weapons. What we don't have is food, and what we don't have is gasoline. Just burn off the rest of the reading until daylight shows up. And it's foggy today. I don't love that. Oh, there's ice cream. I really don't want to because it's a lot of weight. But I might need to. Remember that it's there. It's really bad out. Oh. oh, I do not want to be out here today. It's cold, too. I simply don't think that I can afford to take the day off. So let's grab another crowbar, because I'm pretty sure there's at least one more still in here. And remember that this house is porous as well. Little pipe shovel, not yet. Those are too heavy. Garden hall metal bar, not yet. Spiked baseball bat. Just checking for anything that I might be able to like, accidentally open. We could even eat fruit, I guess. Oh, I didn't see there was a ham in there. That might actually be fine as well. Eat a cabbage. Just a whole head of cabbage raw. Welcome to the apocalypse. And then change your bandage. I don't have any bandages. Problem. Rip up long sleeve t-shirt. Two rip sheets, that'll be good enough. You can keep those dirty rags. We did also take slow healer on this character, so that laceration is going to take a long time to go away. And the whole time it's sitting there, it's just giving us low level pain. And as long as we have low level pain, we aren't as good at swinging a weapon. There's zero shot I walk through a forest in the fog. You must be out of your mind. This sucks. This sucks so hard. I'm 
going to do it. I need the shortcut. Now we need like half the outside of this house. Intact? No. I'll come back. Oh, you asshole. You fucking. There's two in here. for the stab. I didn't. One more. Not fast enough on the stab. Uh, that's bad. Never mind. <laughs> um, I'm gonna die in this house. It's just wind. This house sucks, man. Everything is destroyed. I have to sweep the perimeter. Yep, there's one more that was just probably waiting to ambush us. Here come two more. Either if you wanted to fall over, I would love that. There's a third coming out of the window. Okay. You have a spear? Actually huge. No idea if it's safe to back up this way and can't check. Spear me. Spear with knife, sure. No, that's your bat. You know, save it. I don't think I need it right now. Sure, step on glass, make some noise. Might actually do you a favor. I hear so many coming. Nice shades. Spot. I haven't looked behind you. I haven't looked behind you in some time. You're fine. I saw you get up. I'm so stressed. <laughs> this is. I do not like being outside on days like this, but I have to be, or I'm not going to find this can opener.
I see someone moving back there. But outside of that, that appears to be first floor dealt with. So now we do second floor. But we are on pins and needles on second floor because anyone can walk into this first floor and come upstairs. Absolutely anyone. Where's HP? You don't really have HP. Well, you do. I'll show you in a minute. Not you. No. Yes. HP is yeah, you have a you have a well being bar. This is your well being bar. When your well being bar gets to zero, you die, but it doesn't go up and down like it does in a normal RPG. If your bar is going down and you can't make it go back up, usually something is very, very wrong. Like, if you're starving, your bar is going to be going down, and there's nothing you can do about it besides eat. It's not like you can just chug potions for a while and be fine. Okay... Weapons were totally fine. We are unbelievably fine. How much do you lose if a zombie hits you? You lose some. Like, attacks do damage, but you don't die to a bunch of zombies hitting you. You die to becoming infected. And once you become infected, you are dead. That is it. There is no cure. There's no, like, oh, use this special item. You get infected and you die. Propane tank. Interesting. I'm playing on a specific kind of game rule. You have to be shitting me. At least there's food in here. We can eat in here for like two or three more days. I'm playing on a specific game rule that means if I become infected, which is a random chance, if you get bit, you are 100% infected. But if you get scratched by a zombie or lacerated by a zombie, it's a random chance that you're infected. On the game mode that I'm playing, if that happens to me, I will die. Instantly. I will just fall over and die. On a normal game mode setting, you don't have anything that tells you if you're infected or not. You don't have anything that tells you if you're infected or not. You just gradually start to show symptoms. So you have this creeping anxiety that something isn't right with your character. And then your health starts dropping and it never goes back up. And it's just kind of, what do you want to do with the time that you've got left? This seems not great. This seems really not great. The pain, the panic. Good. to keep this pain off. Yes, it means in multiplayer you can lie about whether you're infected, which is awesome. Because other people, I don't think... Well, actually, I think if you inspect somebody, 
and you have sufficiently high medical skill, you can tell. But I'm not exactly sure how multiplayer works. This is fine. Every zombie we kill now is a zombie we don't have to kill later. And the kitchen is right there. One of them saw us. I'm gonna kill him and I'm gonna go around the back. I don't love that open door either. The axe is done. I'll take care of you quick. At least one more door. You got something in your shoulder. Three more. Goodbye. Okay, that's a ton of stamina burned. Also, a lot of noise made. Yep, here comes the peanut gallery. Not good. There's one more coming. That better be wind. It's wind. Huge. doesn't immediately help me, but no, absolutely not. I have not been up here yet. This is not a place that I can afford to fight. That's a zombie. Fall over, please. No? Fine. Wow, did I lose the other three? I must have. I did. I guess it's foggy for them, too. Okay, take your time. Push him down. Such an unbelievably bad spot to fight. Okay, we need to sit down. Hopefully that's the end of that particular house and we can actually get into it after this.
It's only 14.50. We have a lot of time left today still. It's only 1,600. We have less time left today still. How's the bat doing? Bat's at half. Has the fog lifted at all? No. And it's still cold. Alright, attempt number two with this. the zombie front door no front door is broken he's in here he's in the side room I'm up late I'm building my streamer muscle so I was, I'm getting my reps in hammer strap shoes who cares but also I'm like literally as soon as I finish this house I'm gonna be done if there's not a can opener in here, I'm going to be extremely sad. But doing one more house after this is going to be like another 20 minutes. And I don't want to go too late tonight. I think Amanda's getting ready for bed, so... Who cares? No. And there's not going to be a can opener up here. I'm just looking for, like, anything usable. A ton of guns. Not quite yet. Shooting any gun. There's so for people who don't do um zombie, there's a noise mechanic. Noise attracts zombies. Shooting guns, very loud. As a result, not something you wanna do. I hear something. I 100% hear something. Oh my god. <laughs> Look. Positives. We have enough food to last a while from these two houses. No, you're drowsy. Honestly, for for just a second, you almost got one more house. But it's foggy. I'm drowsy. It sucks to fight outside. I feel like I would get myself killed if I was playing too tired. I'm going back to home base. I'm sweeping the perimeter once, and then we're going to end the stream. I should have brought food with me. I'm stupid. Stop in the house before you go. Grab everything that looks edible, keep it in your backpack. Saw you. I see you. You can't hide from me. I see you. I saw your stupid zombie head. You ass. Yeah, accidentally pressing yell next to a horde. Accidentally honking your horn when you're trying to get out of your car. All kinds of fun stuff. And corned beef. Good. That's massive calories. Paper bag, empty. Mac and cheese, chips, crackers, tortilla chips. Good enough. That's food for like three days. 
first year undergraduates be like, yeah, I got a box of mac and cheese and some tortilla chips. So I have food for three days. <laughs> Give me this. Eat. I feel like with the amount of noise we've been making, this is an okay shortcut to take. But let's see how bad it is back home. It's 1800, we stayed out late tonight. I don't see anything. Is the fog really lifting, like right when we get home? No, it's not lifting. It's just a trick of the eyes. Alright, one quick sweep of the house. No, it is lifting. No, is it? No. Maybe? I can't tell. Can't see anything in the in the glade. And remember, your front windows are broken, so you're not necessarily alone in here. We really gotta barricade those things pretty soon. Ooh, maintaining weapons one. Don't mind if I do. And mechanics one? Sure. Alright. We're good. So that's where we're going to call it for today. Thanks for hanging out. If you were here for both uh, Indo's podcast and you were here for Project Zomboid, congratulations. You've uh, been watching me stream for a very long time. If you were only around for Project Zomboid, I am by trade a Guild Wars 2 streamer, but I do other stuff sometimes as well. If you would like to know exactly what I plan on doing, you should hop in the Discord. You can get uh, opt-in pings for all the stuff that you want to know about. And then there's also the VODs channel if you want to catch up on stuff we've done in the past, including our previous episode of Project Zomboid. I will be streaming on Tuesday and Wednesday. I will be commanding in Guild Wars 2. And then we will see if we can find some other stuff to do later on over the course of the week. But till then, take care, and I hope you have a good rest of your week. I'll see you then.